Hi, my name is Alison Galia. I'm from the bands Bean Growers, The Shush and Ethnica. I um, basically play electric guitar, guitar, even acoustic guitar, um, keyboards, piano and sing. The main genre would be alternative rock, indie rock, and for Ethnica it would be uh, multi-strip folk, that we like to call it. It's uh, basically a mix of uh, traditional Maltese arrangements, but modernized with more electronic sound. People, uh, the love, different kinds of love between people and the love for nature. And I'm very, very inspired by my surroundings. So those all come into my music a lot and my lyrics and what I write. One of the first favorite albums for me growing up was I think the Beatles fight album. I know now it might sound cool to say, but really this, you know, this was one of the records that uh, my dad had and I remember listening to it and thinking, what are all these sounds? Everything sounds so great and the guitars and everything. So the music, the, the weirdness, the, the, the beauty in, in the arrangements and everything. And I think uh, growing up, there's too many to mention, so I'm just going to throw two that I remembered. Uh, that, I, that I could think of first, and that would be Bjork, her debut album, debut, in 1993. As a teenager, I think this sort of uh, completely changed uh, my views of, I think, even singing and, and composition and all the electronic sounds and beats and rhythms. And then after that came Jeff Buckley, who, with his album Grace, completely uh, embodied, I don't know, a lot of feeling. There was harmony, there was feeling in, in, in the way that, uh, I think as a, even as a songwriter, he just carried so much emotion in, in, in his voice. Still to this day, it's one of my favorite albums. I think my electric guitars uh, that have kind of uh, been with me throughout the years, my favorite, my latest favorite is the latest edition, which is a, a Gibson SG. I, I, I love her. She's my, uh, she's my friend now, you know, we, we, she's lighter to carry. She, she's great. She rocks. She helps me rock out and that's really cool. Um, great sound as well. And um, at home we have a lovely Verlitzer and um, it's bright orange. So even the color just makes it, you know, so cool and so so lovely and um, so easy when making, you know, trying to, to play piano and make melodies. And uh, normally the piano helps me to, to actually find the melody when, when, uh, when something comes, comes to my mind or if I'm, you know, if I'm trying to compose something and, and finish off a melody and find a cool chord. Um, so there's guitar on one side and there's also the piano, which is so important. Um, and then obviously the, you know, the electronic setup, the sort of the synths that I normally even play live and also from, from my laptop where, you know, you end up putting ideas together and having that sort of basic home equipment. We're working on a song, uh, a social, <laughs> social distance working uh, of a song, a new song of Ethnica. Uh, we decided to get together and try this out uh, remotely. Uh, we're all in different, most of us are in different countries, um, even uh, not only just in Malta, but um, one of the band members is in Gozo. So we're in Spain, France, Malta, you know, Gozo. And uh, we're, we're, it's actually working out okay. We're, um, you know, so one, one person comes up with the idea, then, you know, the other person is like, uh, adding to it, I've actually written lyrics uh, in Maltese for the first time. You know, sort of really trying to, to put a, a little a little story together. Uh, recording vocals at home, um, so it's been good. It's giving me the chance to get a more of an introspective look on myself and my music, my life. 
my loved ones, again, my surroundings, which are really important uh, for the inspiration that, that, that I draw from. So I think that's it, you know, it's a bit more introspective because there's uh, not much socializing going on. Um, but there's the self-observation, a bit of nostalgia, but it fits. It usually fits with how I normally write and, and, and the themes that, that, that normally really inspire me. Thanks again for having me as part of the Girls to the Front series. This is awesome. Ciao and take care.